Today we're checking out cartoon characters if they were made in real life. Starting off with my boy Patrick Star. He's supposed to be looking like this. A cute cartoon character that everyone loves from Spongebob. But they made him in real life and this is what he looks like. And let me tell you, this is freaking terrifying. Imagine you're at the coffee store, sipping on your coffee, just drinking your drink. Here we are in a beautiful coffee store. And this guy says, what would you like to order? No, thank you. Couldn't be me. Then we got Thanos, but this is the handsome Thanos. Now, many of you guys know that Thanos looks like this, a part of the Marvel franchise. He's looking all crazy, but of course, the handsome version, the cartoon edition, looks like this. But this is the real life version if he was actually real. And I gotta say, he's looking pretty good, all right? I gotta give him credit. It's looking pretty scary. I'm liking what they did with the chin. He's looking good, all right? He sort of looks like me with the bald head. Moving on. Finn from Adventure Time, very widely popular cartoon character. And honestly, him in real life wouldn't be that scary, you would think, right? Until you actually see what he looks like, and here he is. And let me tell you, they did my boy real wrong. Like, that looks crazy. Like, legit looks insane. I, 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 why would they? Listen, I get it. He doesn't have the most perfect teeth. He's not the most, per most perfect looking man, but he definitely should be looking better than this. This is just wrong. This is just wrong. Oh, Marge Simpson. Honestly, she's actually loved and adored by many around the United States. And she's a very widely known cartoon character. And some people even think she's pretty bussin. That's right, attractive. Now, little do they know, they've never seen what Marge looks like in real life. And they've gone ahead and recreated her. And this is what she looks like IRL. Let me tell you, this is absolutely freaking terrifying. I have no idea why they made her ears so small, but they did. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried. And let's just talk about Homer real quick. You know, her loving companion, her right hand man, literally the guy that's been there for her through thick and thin from donuts and back. I have no idea why they made this lovable, looking yellow man with the nice circular eyes and the absolutely hilarious smile to look like this in real life and it's absolutely terrifying i why like those eyeballs look like they've been looking at the same computer screen for 15 years and have never blinked uh, why would they do this why what's the reason what is the reason my man kermit the frog a loved cartoon character from sesame street this guy's been through all of it Many, many childhoods impacted by this little guy. And of course, always sipping the fine tea. But they've gone ahead and made Kermit in real life. And before you guys see this, I need to warn you. This is, this is scary. So brace yourselves. Here is Kermit the Frog in real life. Yep. I don't know why they made him look like this. I don't know why they did this to my man, man, Kermit. But they've gone ahead and disgraced all the frogs out there. He deserves better. <laughs> He deserves better. Or how about Mr. Krabs? You see, my man, my main man, Mr. Krabs, entrepreneur, holding it down, doing his thing in Bikini Bottom, has been recreated into a, a, a real life cartoon character. And here he is. Absolutely disgusting. Why does he look so scaly? Like in, in the show, he's super smooth. Here, he's looking like a real life lobster. I don't know why Mr. Krabs is named Mr. Krabs when he's Mr. Lobster. We're moving on. Oh my God. <laughs> I used to watch this show, Hey Arnold. And Hey Arnold always had a football head. He was a loved football head man, all right? Now here's the thing, okay? The real life version of Hey Arnold looks, well, but here it is, okay? And the hat, you know, this is the same thing that he had in the in the show, but imagine if my hat was that small, like on my head, that, why, that would make no sense. What, why, what's the purpose at that point? I never even realized how small his hat is until right now. Like, that looks so dumb. <laughs> but everyone loved him. Even his best friend, Gerald. Now, Gerald, in the cartoon, looks like a normal dude. Honestly, looking super normal. Nothing wrong with him. They went ahead and remade him in real life. What the heck is this? Why? Why? What is the reason? Why did they have to do this to my man? They could have made him so much more symmetrical. His eyes are literally about to be popping out of his face. It sort of does look like him, but not really at all, all right? N n no, no. But this next one's gonna be a little scary, so strap in. All of you guys should know Monsters, Inc. 
and Mike Wazowski. That one-eyed little green goblin. Yep, this is him in the cartoon, all right? He's looking pretty, uh, well, special. He's got a lot going on here. Real life looks like this. If that isn't the most terrifying thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Because that is just, that is just weird. That, why, why has he got the mouth thing happening? What's going on with this? I don't even know. I have no idea what's happening. This is a, a lot going on. A lot. I feel like he's going to eat me, to be honest. Oh, my boy, Nigel Thornberry. Now, I already know. I already know Nigel Thornberry is going to have some serious problems. The cartoon version of him alone looks all types of weird. He's got the big nose. He's got the big teeth, the very strange eyes. Imagine bringing this guy to real life. You are in for a treat. And that's exactly what we're checking out today. As you can see, Nigel Thornberry, everybody, in real life. This is what he would look like if he was a walking, talking human. And yep, um, let's talk about those teeth, the nose. The nose is the size of my entire face almost. I feel like that nose is as big as my entire face. I I don't even know like how this would be even humanly possible, but somehow someone out there thought in their imagination that this would be a good idea. And I have no idea why. Just like my main men, Phineas and Ferb. Now, Phineas sort of looks a little, you know, like a cartoon. You can't really bring him to real life. But then, but then you look at this, you're like, wow, this actually looks like Phineas. Like you could actually see like this might be a real person. The thing is the nose is way too big, but it actually looks real. I'm just saying, okay? I I'm thinking might be a thing. And then my boy Ferb. My boy Ferb in the cartoon has like that long neck, that long face. This is Ferb. Now, let me tell you, I could actually see someone looking like this in real life. Just saying, like this looks like a real person. But speaking of real people, let's go and switch it up to a real cartoon, like Courage the Cowardly Dog. There is no way, right, you could ever think this dog, the cartoon, would be a real life cartoon character. But luckily enough for you guys, we have a real life version of what Courage the Cowardly Dog would look like. And here he is. Absolutely terrifying. I mean, it sort of doesn't even look like a dog. It sort of looks like a naked mole rat. It's, it's an absolute disaster and there's a piece of poop behind him. It's a mess. You know, I, I'm not a big fan. I used to watch Courage of Cowardly Dog, but uh, yeah, uh, no, it's it's just, that's uh, a train wreck if I've ever seen one. And to wrap it up, we got two very famous SpongeBob characters, of course, SpongeBob and Patrick Star. These are real life renditions that you guys have probably seen before, which is this SpongeBob and this Patrick Star. Yep. It gets a little bit weird here on this channel, so if you guys enjoy, be sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 1 million subscribers on the Reaction Shorts channel and almost at 500k on this channel. So show that love. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one. Later, guys.